can take one of your big cars or small cars, go to them, let them give you something in writing. That says those notices that they sent the churches in Metal Beg are withdrawn. Then we can start afresh. But right now, you are trying what you cannot stop. Because that's for to protest. I'm putting it on record. We will protest. If we want to walk or drive there, we will drive our cars. Nobody will break our cars. Nobody will be arrested. Nobody will be shot with a rubber bullet. Nobody of us here will suffer anything. None of us. Baba Zulu, with due respect to your office and your uniform and the authority you are given by the state I voted for and that I'm praying for every day, I am telling you that you have been sworn in by the Constitution, sir, not by the Disaster Management Act. Therefore, your, your duty is to protect my right, which is in Section 17 of the Constitution, that I've got the right to peacefully protest. And what I will do here, it's what is enshrined in the right. And there is no Disaster Management Act that will take my right away, because what I'm doing, it's a reaction that was evoked during the Disaster Management Act. And I have outlined that in our, we have, not I, we have, all of us, outlined it in our memorandum. And since those things are still remaining, go to them, tell them that we are still waiting, we've got one hour, only one hour, for them to put it in writing with the letterhead of the yeah. municipality and the stem, to say all those evictions are, are, are withdrawn. When they're withdrawn and you come here, you give me a letter, then we can talk your way forward. But as for now coming empty-handed with your authority, your authority is half measure. You are defending those who are illegal. They, the municipality is illegal. We are legal because they started us. They gave us 24, 24 hour notice of eviction to a church without even, without, let, let me finish, let me finish. Without even considering section 4.2 of Thai Act, Prevention of Illegal Eviction Act, they did not follow any law. And trust me, sir, you cannot protect people who break the law. You are supposed to go to them first and tell them that you are wrong. Yes. Fix it from yes. them and come back to us and say, here I've got a solution for you, then we'll take it from there. Yes. But I'm telling you, the only negotiation I'm willing to get into, what time is it now? What time is it now? Give me time quickly. What time is it now? It's quarter to 10. I've got until quarter to 11 that you come back with the written thing that says they have withdrawn their notices and after we can talk whether I'm going to submit memorandum or we're going to go to them and talk to them. But as for now, say, I reject any negotiation. You can do, you can arrest me if that is the case, but I reject any negotiation without any written form that says, that says, yes, the municipality is withdrawing the eviction. They are willing to come to the table to talk. Because three times did you go to them. Three times did Mr. Similani, Apostle Similani go to them to talk to them. But none, even once, have they come to us. Who's that Indian woman? The white woman. The, there is a white woman who has rejected our, 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 our negotiation. Now they are sending you so that you can do what bully us. Say, your duty is not to bully us and we can't be bullied. Mm. And let me put it on record. There is no police who will bully us in South Africa. Mm. Because we know your duty. Public police, we are not causing any disorder and will never break anything. You see how smart we are dressed. You see how clean these pastors are. There is not even a single thief. You can search all of us. No one has a knife or a weapon. weapon. No one has even a gun in his car. I can guarantee you. We will simply walk and go and deliver that. But if you want to shoot us with rubber bullets, I surrender, we can not gonna run away, shoot us. Yes. As you did in Sifukeng, so should it be here. Yes. We'll get another million says we are suing for them. You'll make us, you'll make us rich. We want to be rich. Do that, Mr. Zulu, do that. Okay. If ever you're not gonna negotiate with us from that angle, we are not gonna negotiate. We appreciate that. You can go back with your team, I'll go back with my team. Okay. Yes, we are not done. We said, if I say I'm done, will you stop me, madam? Okay, I'll be sitting with us. You said, you said what? Hey, you said I must shut up. Yes, yes, yes. about how useless SAPS is. Yeah. I will tell them in front of you without, with due respect. Let me tell you how useless you are, madam. You were at the funeral. Your premier in this in this place was not wearing a mask. You never arrested him. You come here to tell me that I must shut up. Who, who's who are you? 
Miss Matap, Matapu, whatever. Listen here, woman. Listen here, grade 12. You know who you're talking to? You know who am I? My name is Advocate Muafrika Wamaila. You don't dare me, you. You don't dare me. If you think I'm just a pastor because I'm preaching in church, let me tell you, let me tell you, if you have a culture of disrespecting the pastors and the church, you will learn to respect us. You better apologize for saying shut up to me. If you can't apologize, then we, then we tell you, I'm telling you, warrant officer, if this woman does not apologize to us for telling me that I must shut up, then I'm telling you, with due respect, we cannot continue talking to people who disrespect us. No, let her apologize first, then we're gonna move. And if she can't apologize, then we are with the. We, 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 I told you what is our condition. You can go and tell me. I was willing to talk. Let's say she can't say to me, shut up. She can't. Even look, I'm a husband, I'm a father. She, if, if my wife can say that another woman was telling me to shut up, what is that? She either gonna apologize for this or she's gonna tell And we do what we're here to do. Then you can do what you're here to do. Uh, 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 how are you? Uh, uh, as, as we are on this issue, no, so, let, the, let's the condition of our, of our condition now remains on two issues. Number one, she must apologize. Number two, you must go to the municipality, get a written put that our eviction order, our eviction orders of the churches are withdrawn. Then we'll talk from there. But if she cannot, even if you come with that letter, we're not going to talk to you. And I'm telling you the honest truth, you're not going to force us to talk. I've got a freedom of choice here. According to the question of this country, my freedom says if I don't want to talk to you, I will not. And my freedom tells me that I've got a right to protest peacefully. And if you were to do anything under Disaster Management Act, when it's uplifted, I'll come and deal with you legally. Because the records and the treatment will still remain. So rest assured on all of you who are here police officers. Rest assured in if any of you dare shoot any of us, we're going to deal with you individually. We will get the record of who was deployed here. And we will sue you as we are suing those who were shooting the church members in the game. And we are not joking. We are telling you the honest truth. I am honest on my mother's tiara. That you do not know. That you, 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 you cannot come here to disrespect us, to tell us to shut up. You were saying in Sibuken to other people that they must forsake in the church. And you are coming here to tell me that I must shut up. No, this woman must have manners. She must have manners. She can't say that to me. Sir, it's either we are having an apology from there or we are having it from you so that we can continue talking. But as for us, as for now, we pray for these people on daily basis. We are praying for you not to die. You can't disrespect us. It was unnecessary and it's unnecessary. But we must teach people to respect the church. That's yeah. true. That's and true. Then if we don't start it now, we'll never have it. And let me tell you, some of us are willing to put even our lives on the line. And if these people, they want to talk to us, they must never talk to us about shut up. Because after shut up, who say will fall? Yeah. Yes. Nobody shall say anything to us like, we are not fighting anyone. Yeah. And then if Baba Zulu want to talk to us, cool. let them withdraw. The eviction notices. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Then after that we can start afresh. But if eviction notices are still there, I am refusing to say we're gonna talk to them on what to do. Yes, sir. We cannot cooperate yes, with level three, whereas people did not cooperate with level three. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, actually it's one sided. Mm -hmm. It's one sided. Yes. So now it's fine. We will wait for them. Uh, firstly for apology, secondly for written code. But uh, before that, um, we will remain here. Uh, what time is it? 10 o'clock, we must start Yeah, uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, yeah, Bishop Kelly, 10 o'clock, we can start with prayer. Then we'll see how far we negotiate.